I took a peek at Berean TV's live show this morning, which was discussing a clip of Stephen Darby commenting on Matthew 15:24, And uh, Berean happened to have the link out for anyone to join the panel, so I decided to hop on and briefly share my thoughts on that verse. And Now, I've discussed Matthew 15:24 before. You know, for example, I discussed it in my video on replacement theology, but that video discussed a number of verses, and I, I figured it might be helpful to have a short video which is exclusively on Matthew 15, 24. So I'm just going to share a roughly three and a half minute excerpt from Brian's show, from this morning's show on Brian TV, and it's going to capture both Darby's understanding of the verse as well as my own. And, uh, you know, I'll close it out with that clip. So as always, I look forward to the comments of others, so feel free to share your thoughts, whether positive or negative. Enjoy the clip, and God bless. Now, all your life you've been at church, Christ is coming back for those for those who are good and who so who love the Lord and okay well that means everybody and that is true he is coming back for those who will say who receive Christ and who love the Lord whatever but the Bible says he's coming back for a people that's the reason why Jesus remember when the woman came that uh, the Syrophoenician woman whose daughter was sick and Jesus said listen I haven't come but to the lost sheep of the tribe of Israel he was saying listen who I'm coming for that don't mean y'all can't get in on it Gentiles but who I'm really sent to. Now, you got to understand if he's coming for the lost sheep, then the people over there ain't lost. The people in Jerusalem ain't lost. They say they know who they are. Who, the, lost means I don't know who I am. Now, because of the mercy of God, because he's a great God, the Seraphonician woman, even though she did not have a covenant and wasn't supposed to get in on it, Faith allowed her to still get the part of the promise. Then the promise was two. What do Boo want? What does Jesuit want? Hold on a minute, y'all. I see the Jesuits in the building. I see the Jesuits in the building. The, the, the the Jesu that, yeah, the literally, as you see on my screen name, it says Al Yasui, right? That's uh, literally the Arabic for the Jesuit. Uh, real quick, listening to what this gentleman was saying. Uh, there's a point to be to be noted here that I seem to which one I think, which one which one slim or the, Darby the, one no, the gentleman video? on the screen I, I guess that's Darby on the screen the yes, one who yes, was just yes, speaking yes. in the video you're playing yes, yes, yes. so he the woman in Matthew 15 he seems to take it for granted that that woman is a, is what he would call a gentile that woman does not descend from Jacob right can we agree he's taking that for granted yes yes okay so let's begin with that premise I agree with him I assume that she doesn't descend from Jacob here's the thing Christ's statement in Matthew 15 24 when he responds it says I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel right if you look at the previous verse who was speaking in the previous verse it says his disciples came to him and urged him send her away, send her away. She she after us. Us. Come on. and then it's then that the text says Christ responded who was he responding to was he responding to the woman or his disciples, or his disciples from and, ah. that, and this is the incredible ah. thing so the thing is, and not only that, notice that he did not meet their request. He didn't send her away. He no, gave he her precisely exactly what she requested, ultimately, right? Come so on. now here's the, here's the incredible thing about that text. The disciples say, send her away. Christ doesn't meet their, their request. And then it's, it can, it's arguable in light of the context, the way the text fits together, it's plausible that Christ is telling them, I was only sent to the Lord. She, I was sent but only to the lost sheep of Israel, meaning this woman who does not descend from Jacob, according to the assumption we began with, is plausibly one of the lost sheep of Israel, which would take us back to the point, which is found, you know, if you read Matthew 3, 9, together with uh, Romans 2, 28 and 29 and Romans 9, 6 and, and Galatians mm -hmm. 3, 29, it collectively, it brings us to this point that the true Israel and the true children of Abraham which is again is the true Israel. It's the, the true children of Abraham are limited to those in the true Israel is determined by faith, not by your lineage. And that That's was, I, I just felt start. compelled to jump yes. on and, and share that. No, thank you. But hold on a minute. I got to call the campus for you. Let me call, let me call them dudes and wake them campus up right now. Cause, cause what, cause, <laughs> cause, cause, cause I, I ain't gonna lie. Abu just came here and cut some of y'all, but I know y'all gonna be offended. So I,